Hi, I'm Christopher Wong. Today I'd like to show you another scene from the romantic comedy My Mr. Wife. We're going to look at a scene that has a little bit more heartbreak to it this time. A scene where the two characters don't necessarily have their romance quite worked out yet. So this is one of my favorite scenes from this film. If you have not seen the movie My Mr. Wife, what I should tell you about this scene is it happens close to the end of the movie. Uh, the couple in this situation has had some problems, and in the scene just before this, um, the woman has had uh, a great triumph in her career, and the man has uh, kind of helped her out behind the scenes in this success, and you think that it's maybe enough to get this relationship back on track and it turns out that it's not quite enough to reconcile everything. So what I'm going to do is show you the scene first with no music, and then I'll tell you what I found in the scene when I was working on it, and then I'll show it to you with music, and hopefully that will be uh, informative to you. Let's take a look. Hello! Sao tự nhiên anh bỏ đi mất tiêu vậy? Bộ hồi nãy em không nghe anh vỗ tay lớn nhất phòng. <cười> Nếu không có anh với Thí chắc em không làm được gì hết quá. À. <cười> anh vô trong với em nha. Em muốn giới thiệu anh với mọi người. Vô trong đó rồi anh biết nói gì vậy ta Sếp cũ em sắp đi Tokyo rồi Thôi em lên đi để mọi người trả Anh Hùng Bây giờ Bụng anh nghĩ gì vậy? Ừ. Bụng anh giờ đói quá cũng không nghĩ được gì chứ Okay, so you can see that this scene um, is kind of a scene with a little bit of heartbreak. It's it's a very bittersweet scene because in some ways there are some things that are reconciled in this relationship, but you want them to get back together completely, and it's uh, it's not quite there yet. So, um, uh, one of the things that you might have noticed is that the scene probably feels awkward or a little bit too long or maybe a little bit too slow paced with no music in it. And this was actually a very intentional decision by the filmmaker. Um, so what happened was the when I got the first cut of the film, I remember studying the scene and then coming back to it. And then when I got the um, revised cut of the scene, the, the cut actually got longer, which is unusual. Uh, usually when they revise edits, um, scenes get shorter. And so I remember uh, messaging the director, Charlie Nguyen, and I said, hey, the scene got longer. That's really interesting. Um, and he told me, yeah, I did that on purpose because I know that when you put the music in, you're going to be able to make this feel really emotional and um, I want to give you more space to work. 
So I thought that was really cool. Um, what you'll notice is when I put the music in, um, those shots that feel too long, they will not feel too long anymore. Um, so uh, I think the main thing is when we start the music, um, first of all, I found this moment when she wraps around the staircase and sees him to be a pretty natural place to start the music. And then um, when we get going, you know, it's like that bittersweet feeling. You want it to feel a little bit happy, a little bit sad. It's it's a mix of those emotions. And that's, that's something that I really like playing around with. So um, I needed to try to achieve that. And then um, there's a moment around here where you think that their conversation is maybe almost ending and then she turns away and she hesitates she has a thought and she comes back to him I know. and well what she does is she's gonna take a risk she's gonna be a little bit vulnerable and see if she can um get this relationship back to where she wants it and um open up her heart a little bit. And uh, so I found that to be a moment that was very important in the scene and something's gonna have to happen with the music there. So let's take a look at how this sounds with the music in it now. Hello. Sao tự nhiên anh bỏ đi mục tiêu vậy? Bộ hồi nãy em không nghe anh vỗ tay lớn nhất phòng. Nếu uh, không có anh với Thí chắc em không làm được gì hết quá. À. <cười> anh vô chồng với em nha. Em muốn giới thiệu anh với mọi người. Vô trong đó rồi anh biết nói gì vậy ta Sếp cũ em sắp đi Tokyo rồi Thôi em lên đi để mọi người trả Really wonderful performances by these two actors. I love this scene. So, um, yeah, the um, okay. So let's talk about that a bit. The piano theme that you hear at, during the first part of the scene is um, the love theme that was established earlier in this movie. And usually, when this theme is playing in the earlier parts of the movie that are more funny, upbeat. You know, the um, this this melody is usually played at a faster tempo and a little bit more lively uh, because this is a romantic comedy. And uh, when we get to this very kind of touching scene here where it has to have that bittersweet emotion, where it's a mixture of, you know, of different feelings. It's, it's not happy. It's not sad. It's kind of in the middle, right? Um, so what I did was I took that theme and uh, played it slower, basically. I, I slowed the tempo down. And sometimes that can make all the difference, actually, is just uh, changing the tempo of something. Um, 
So that's what we did there. And then um, the other thing is at this moment where she hesitates, you, you think that the conversation's maybe over and then something comes in mind and she wants to say something more to him. Um, I really enjoy scoring these kinds of moments and what, uh, um, what I decided to do here was that, uh, the music has to kind of hit a point where it, it struggles to resolve basically. Cause if you listen to the music before it, it just kind of, it kind of cycles through the chord changes like you would expect. Let's just play the earlier music for a bit. Sao tự nhiên anh bỏ đi mục tiêu vậy? Bộ hồi nãy em không nghe anh vỗ tay lớn nhất phòng. So we have that bittersweet feeling, but it um it's kind of predictable in terms of nếu uh, không you know, the music goes along comfortably. It just Chắc it changes to the next harmony when you feel like it's comfortable to do so, and it just sets that tone. Anh vô trong với em nha. Now when we get to this moment you'll see that the music, um, it just kind of hovers on one or two chords for a long time and it, it doesn't really go anywhere. And that's on purpose because there's there's actually a little bit of suspense uh, to this moment. We don't know what's gonna happen. And uh, we have to hold the audience in that moment of, we, we want the audience to feel like she does. Like if I say this thing to him, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna, accept me fully again um so let's hear that music's just hovering and home it's just kind of staying on that one chord for a long time And then a, a quick inflection to that minor chord when she um, when she hears his react his uh, reaction to her and it's not quite what she wanted to hear and she she looks sad right. <laughs> So that that's really the only place that the that the harmony changes for about thirty seconds or so in that moment, and so uh, I think that what makes the music work effectively here is just that um, that change from being very steady and comfortable into this moment where it just holds and doesn't resolve for a long time because her uh, her feeling is un unresolved and we don't know how this moment is going to work out, right? Um, something else that I kind of like to do, this is a technical thing, is uh, when there's a hold like that in a long space, right before the dialogue comes back in, I like to have a change in the music and it just not really a change, but sometimes I just start the piano right before the dialogue happens. And um, I don't know, that's that's just something I like to do, but let's see that. So we're just holding and holding right before she talks. Is that piano. And home. And then the dialogue comes in. So it just kind of frames it. May, uh... All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. And this is Christopher Wong, and I'll see you at the next video.